Good morning, Newman Smith. I'm Dr. Jimenez, the proud principal of Newman Smith High School, where our mission is to graduate all scholars to be college, career, or military ready. Let's start with the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now our pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee. Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for our moment of silence. Thank you, and you may be seated. Welcome to Happy Monday, October 14th. And I don't know if you know, but you're about to know, it is HOCO Week. But before we do any of that, let's get on with our word of the day and our quote of the day. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit subscribe to Newsday with Dr. J. Oh, speaking of, thank you so much for our really fun entry so far. Mr. Hurst's advisory class said that I was hit by a golf ball. Hmm. Mr. Ratliff had some amazing entries with his advisory. He said it was an angry headbutt at the television after the Cowboys lost to the 49ers. I need them to do better tonight. All right, and he also said that I went three rounds with Mike Tyson. Miss Griffin's math class, or her advisory class, said that I was flung off of the Ferris wheel at the fair and hit a corn dog stick. All right, I can't wait to hear what you think. Keep them coming. Word of the day. Our word of the day is complacent. It's an adjective. It means satisfied with no desire to change or improve. Well, Trojans are never complacent. We're always looking to get better. Kaizen is the study of ongoing improvement. Ongoing improvement. Quote of the day is, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. That's by Winston Churchill. Well, let's hear about HOCO. We only get one of these. We only get one homecoming a year, and it's now. It's this week. It's going to be so great. Come on over, Scholar Leadership, and tell us about HOCO. Alrighty, it's HOCO, we guys. So our this week is going to be full of wonderful spirit days, so please participate, participate. We need everybody in the school participating also this friday we have our annual homecoming parade so it should be we should have like a schedule coming out to let you guys know when like you know go to your certain classes that day because we will start the parade early and our dance is this saturday and if you want to bring a guest to the dance that does not go to newman smith you need to get a guest form from miss pace's room and those are due this wednesday and also, we're going to be selling t-shirts and tickets to the dance during all three lunches this week. So be sure to buy your tickets and t-shirts for the dance and to wear your t-shirt to the homecoming game this Friday. Yep. I love it. I love the parade. It's probably my favorite part. But don't forget the dress-up. The dress-up is important. We only have one chance. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow's flannel day, so mm -hmm. be sure to wear your flannel this week. All the flannel. Get all the flannel you have out, wear it all, and it's cool, so it's going to work. All right, ladies, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Let's bring over our NSO, and in case you don't know what that stands for, that is the Newman Smith Orchestra. Come on in, guys. What's going on? So our orchestra concert, our first orchestra concert of the year is this Thursday at October 19th from 7 p.m. to around 8.15 Doors open at 6.30. This Thursday? Yes. yes. All right. Uh, this will be our first concert with the Beginner Orchestra. Uh, it started this year. Yes. So their very first concert. Yes. I love it. Boy, that was a great day for us. A Playing that for the first time. Now, I know some of you played in middle school, but it's different when you get to high school. It's going to be a great night. Mm -hmm. Y'all should come. It's going to be so much fun and support everybody else, all your friends, support the orchestra. Or even go and buy shirts. It's pretty nice. We have some good merch going on. <laughs> yeah. Yep. All right. What time does it start? Seven. How do how do we get a ticket? It's, oh, it's free. 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 I thought you said that. We love things that are free. <laughs> All the uh, more reason to come and enjoy the music. Let it move you. Um, I don't know if you know, but our orchestra here is one of the best around. So you should come and experience it. We're holding a record right now, but you'll hear more about that later. <laughs> All right, orchestra, thank you so much. Let's bring over our musical folks to talk about our high school musical this year, which is so exciting. Hairspray. 
Welcome back, Miss Dublin. <laughs> hello, hello. So if you don't know, this year's musical is Hairspray. And our, our audition process is starting very soon. It is starting on the 23rd, which is this coming Monday, one week from now. Um, uh, we're going to be having a prep class, which is the class is going to be teaching you the dance and the song that you need to sing for the next day's audition on the 24th. So um, in order for you to audition, you just need to find this bit.ly it is in the advisory slides but we have a bit.ly which is nshs hairspray audition form we try to make it really easy um, and that needs to be filled out and submitted on the day of the prep class and i have miss power power here to help um, explain to you what we're looking for in actors yes so the best part of the musical is that all of the fine arts works together so um, it's not just acting or singing or dancing or music or technical theater it's all of it all together so when you audition you're going to come that Monday you have to come to the Monday prep class and you'll learn a song and a dance I won't be there so something I always like to remind people is we're looking for a character from day one when you're singing when you're dancing we're looking for those big strong characters it doesn't matter uh, how beautiful your voice is you have to act along with it so we're looking for chorale singing that is beautiful and what mr. Lucera teaches but we're also looking for you to play with a character with that and if you're looking at this saying I would never want to be on stage I would I would just absolutely die of stage fright I have good news for you we also have backstage roles available we love our technicians I mean it would be great to do a play but you gotta see it so we need someone to turn on the lights and do the costumes and the sets so if you're interested in doing tech you don't have to go through the audition process you just go and talk to our technical theater director Mr. Spear and he will talk to you about how you sign up to do all of that backstage stuff which is really fun and very important very important mm -hmm. and no stage fright so whether you are a veteran of the stage or just want to try it for the first time, we really encourage all of our students, even if you're not part of the fine arts uh, programs right now, to you know uh, give it a shot and attend the prep class on Monday, audition on Tuesday, um, because we love you know kind of recruiting into our programs through this process as well, um, and kind of find that passion of uh, performing on stage. We really have a, a rich history of putting on wonderful musicals here at Smith. Yeah. You this, never know um, what talent you have unless you try. Yeah. That, that is so true. You never know. So listen, if you're doubting yourself, just try it. Just try, you don't even know. This could be your calling. All right, let's bring everyone back to close. Okay, we love you. We think you're great. They're hustling in. Remember character counts and make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. <laughs>